Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. So let's just talk for a minute about uh, after going to the range on 45 Colt Range Day. Um, here's the Vaquero. You can see it's empty. So we know that one's empty. It's going to put it in its holster there for a second. And then uh, we got the Blackhawk here. We'll just flip it open and show it's empty. And I even had the 45 Colt cylinder out there. I mean the 45 ACP cylinder out there. So what can I say? I was really very pleasantly surprised with the Vicaro and the fit of the holster and everything from Missoula. It worked well. Um, Vaqueros, I, I, I guess I, maybe I didn't have as, I didn't think of them as being as robust or as nice a shooting gun as they are. Uh, this is my first new model Vaquero, so I really enjoyed shooting this one. I gotta say, you know, it handled the, you know, it was fine handling the, the, uh, heavy, uh, the standard pressure heavy 45 cold outdoorsman, which was, 255 grain soft gas Keith gas check, which is a bullet like this, you know, all the way down to the, you know, the cowboy action stuff that I had from, uh, you know, Fiocchi, Aguila, and uh, uh, Hunting Shack, Montana, to the Hornady uh, 185 grain, I'm sure would handle the 225, you know, FTX as well. So, you know, nice shooting gun and with the 45s you know it handled shooting uh 45 acp fine whether it was some of these uh hydra shocks or whether it was just some uh you know blazer you know by the way here's the this is the ammo that i used in it right standard pressure and then i used uh some of these uh guys here which are the 45 colt 185 grain right when i have your 45 colt cylinder in there plus i just had a variety of other ones that i had primarily uh, uh i think we also started off with and shot uh what we shot in the beginning i think in both guns um after we shot some um I think we went with the Fiocchi 45 Long Colt to start with. After we did that, you know, we went and we also did the 45 Colt, these here. These are jacketed soft points. And I like those also as a, could be a potential self-defense or hunting round, but this guy really did good. I'm really happy with it, I have to tell you. And then this guy, I mean, what could be said? I mean, it's a Black Hawk, and it's a seven and a half inch barrel. You know, whatever I fed it, they were both shooting very accurately too. I noticed with the, uh, I was trying to determine whether it was me, uh, you know, or the gun, but I think the, when I'm shooting 45 Colts, I think it shoots a little bit to the left, so I'll have to keep that in mind, unless I want to make an adjustment somehow. Uh, and with the ACPs, it seems like it's kind of more right on the money. And I also noticed that some of the rounds, you know, sometimes the rounds will shoot a little bit lower. These guys, this guy here, you know, I got to admit, I did bang my finger up a little bit. I'm not quite sure when I had my grip there, you know, and I was shooting it. That's a lot of gun. I think what happened is this trigger guard came back and kind of, you know, when it came up and it came back, it kind of caught my finger and scraped it. Because this is, could be a little bit sharp here. It's round, it's grind down, but, you know, I take a little skin off. So that was with the uh, choice ammo. Do it. Oh, I'm just doing So let's good. resume here. Uh, so when I had the first two plus Bs that I shot were... This here, Buffalo Boar, heavy 45 Colt plus P outdoorsman, 
325 grain. It's a hard cast and it's LBT FLN 1325 feet per second, 1267 foot pounds. It, it definitely kicked. And I also shot some of the standard outdoorsmen, it handled that fine. Uh, you know, and that, by the way, uh, so that when I was shooting those, it was these guys here. So, what's the difference? Well, this is that 325 grain bullet, and that's the 255 grain soft cast versus hard cast. This is the plus P, this is a standard pressure. It's a Keith type bullet, as you can see by the shape of it. Oh, gas check. But when I shot the, the choice, which is these guys, Right, and they got 1,200 feet per second out of four and a half inch. So, I'm thinking there's probably at least another 100 feet per second that you get, maybe 13, 1350, maybe approaching 1400 out of a seven and a half. It definitely kicked, and that's when I got the little scrape. But I'll shoot it again. I also shot my first round out of the Rossi was one of these, and so it's definitely a robust looking bullet there. You know, being as it's a 325 grain wide flat nose gas check. Remember, the thing that really is amazing on these, you get into the knee plat of these, right? Just like with a 4570. These things are bone crushers, you know. This isn't about expansion. <laughs> you know, so that's some of the, you know, major differences there when you're looking at those kind of rounds, you know, versus other rounds that tend to expand like something like this self-defense round from Hornady, right? It's made to expand. We shot some of these in, uh, in both of them. I just shot a couple. Do I think, I don't know if I shot any in the Blackhawk, but I did shoot some in the Victero and they worked well. So anyway, real happy with the range trip. Real happy getting to shoot my Rossi. I really didn't get to shoot it quite as much as I wanted because it took a little longer than I thought. I hope you enjoyed it. I got some, finally got some target stands, and I kind of liked that part quite a bit. That was a real bonus, you know, getting to finally have more or less, you know, some target stands to shoot at uh, while we're there at the range. So, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I know this is kind of kind of rambling on, but really enjoyed both of them. They handled the ammo fine. I couldn't ask for more and I just need more practice. I, I've ordered some 265 green um, plus bees from Grizzly and that's probably something I'd be more likely to carry. These other ones are really for super heavy duty. Not that the, not that the 265s are any slouch uh, or even the outdoorsman, the standard pressure, you know, I still have 225 grain bullet you know, going at a thousand feet per second at 566 pounds, of foot, foot pounds. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I had a great day um, and uh, I got to get, got to even shoot, you know, both, both cylinders of the, the Vicaro and got to shoot the plus piece in the, in the long, in the uh, seven and a half inch. And I got to shoot my Rossi, which is sitting back over there. I, Probably shouldn't make it an orphan. It's over here. Let me just go get it for a minute because if you don't have one of these and you like lever actions, the R92 is a nice gun. And we can show you that it's on level two. But uh, 45 Colt, 10 rounds, you know, and it, you know, it handled this, uh, this choice one just fine. So. Anyway, uh, let me go back over here. Sorry, I don't want me to move around in the videos, I know. So, thanks for watching. I'll probably do this as an after video, separate from the range ones, because everything gets so long sometimes. I know when I'm doing them, and I'm trying to, trying to get better at that. So, anyway. Be safe out there, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, you know, please like, uh, uh, comment, and subscribe. You know, I just really encourage people to think about trying to 
45 cold. It's a great caliber, you know. So just something to think about by now. Yeah, one other thing, you know, I really enjoy and I love the, the Blackhawk and its look and everything, but I do have some whole grips for it that I think I might seriously put on there, especially uh, I really get out there and get to go hunting this year. When I take that gun along, I think I'm going to want something like that. Not only that, I want to keep the other grips in good shape. So just uh, things to think about. So, um, Reed Desert Boy always says, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. Bye now. By the way, if I don't do any videos for a few weeks, uh, if you saw, if I make the video and you see the person that came in and left, that's my fiance. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to get married and um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm pretty excited about that. And we're going to be gone for a couple of weeks traveling around so uh, if you don't get to see any videos you know coming out until maybe october that's why bye now